Now to a Daily Mail TV exclusive, stabbed to death by Charles Manson. The cousin of a Charles Manson victim is pleading with California Governor Gavin Newsom to keep one of Manson's followers in prison. The victim was 32-year-old music teacher Gary Hinman, who was tortured before being murdered by Manson and Robert Beausoleil back in 1969. Now, almost 50 years later, Beausoleil has been granted parole, and the victim's cousin is desperately trying to overturn the decision. These people are all psychopaths or sociopaths. Kay Hinman Martley is demanding justice. She grew up with Gary in Fort Collins, Colorado. Her fondest memory, Sunday dinner. They had a huge grand piano in his house and he would play the piano for us all. In the early 1960s, Gary moved to California to work on his PhD in social work at UCLA. He was drawn into the Manson family orbit. Charles Manson believed Gary had come into an inheritance and wanted the money. In July 1969, Manson disciple Robert Beausoleil brutally stabbed Gary to death. The words political piggy were scrawled on the wall in Gary's blood. It was such a horrendous murder. He was tortured. Beausoleil was sentenced to life in prison and Kay wants to make sure it stays that way. She travels from Denver to California, attending every hearing. Bobby Beausoleil said at the parole hearing this last one that he regretted the murder. No remorse. I didn't hear that. I heard the word regret and that doesn't do it for me. To add insult, Beausoleil is allowed to sell his art and make music while in prison. Two of his songs are featured on the soundtrack to Lady Gaga's documentary, Five Foot Two. Why is he allowed to have run a business and be in prison? It's not fair. Gary's dead. Kay created this change.org petition, hoping to keep Beausoleil behind bars. The political system as it stands in California now has no way to stop it other than the governor. The previous governor of California, Jerry Brown, was just starting his career at the time of the Manson murders. He routinely denied the release of anyone associated with Charles Manson, and it is unclear if Governor Newsom will follow Brown's lead.